happening. I'm in St. Albans right now. I'm like six minutes away and I'm also like 25 minutes early. I'm hanging out in a sketchy gas station. I am really scared to meet this guy. I just feel so awkward. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing today. I don't want to be a burden to him. I just want him to like teach me things. And I'm really shy right now. And before I left, I was feeling a lot more chipper and goofy. Now I'm in St. Albans and I'm really scared. My goal for today is for him to get to know me better. I really just want to go in and say, hi, I'm Jillian and I don't want to be a burden to you and if I'm really annoying you, tell me and I'll go do my own thing. I just really don't want to get in the way of his work. Hello? Hello? It was a 12 hour day, it was my first day, and now I have cake and ice cream, and I get to talk to my dad about everything. It was a good day. It was a lot. So basically, I met Andre for the first time yesterday. Less than 12 hours later, I was having dinner with him and his family and friends. And I was just having a really fun time at dinner. I just couldn't believe that I met them less than 12 hours ago. First of all, he showed me jingles that he wrote. Those were fun to listen to. I looked at drum samples and how to fix bad drumming. I realized the benefits of just doing everything on a computer and not actually drumming. I looked at autotune. He should have a good lead vocalist. Honestly, like I don't know if I really want to be a producer now. What I realized is that Andre is editing sounds that nobody hears except for him. There are certain things where it's like, wow, okay, that is a terrible vocalist, or hey, that beat is off, that drummer doesn't know how to drum. But then like, things like the bass line, one of the bass lines was off by a tiny, tiny little bit, and he noticed it. He's like, did you hear that? And I didn't hear it until he played it over again. It's like, okay, well, now that I'm listening for the missing bass line, yeah, I did hear it. But nobody except for him is going to hear it. One of the issues with the industry right now is that no artist wants to pay money for a producer who's going to mix and master their album. Because in this day and age, when we all have computers, like, I have this right here. I have my mic. I have everything right here to make a song and because it's not all live and stuff I'm not in a studio with the drummer who's actually going to be drumming I have it all on a computer I don't have as much of a need for a producer like Andre to go through and fix all these missing bass lines and also I don't care Andre was talking about how a lot of these kids just don't care they don't want to pay money to have Andre find the missing bass lines because they don't care that was the idea that I was getting. I believe it because I'm also a young human being. If I put time and effort into an album and then I heard some older guy being like, hey, you should do this, this, and that because it'll make it sound better. It's just not a huge difference. It's like, okay, cool, great. Now it sounds like a teensy, teensy bit different, but really you don't notice it. Of course, I'm not gonna be paying for that. So I feel like the whole production, mixing, and mastering thing is going downhill. There is so much sitting involved. I got there at noon yesterday. We sat in chairs from noon until 7 o'clock at night with a 10 minute lunch break. I just sat and watched him do his thing. I asked questions. That was fun. Then we had dinner, and then around 9, we went back downstairs. One of Andre's like family friends slash clients whatever was there to track an album. I don't know what that means yet. And now since I have the day off, I am going to play with this machine right here. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good day, man. It's gonna be a good day. Oh, God.